Asante sana. Mjambo wananchi zote. Jambo sauti hapa nasikia. Rais yetu iko hapa na iko na furaha. Liko anashindi na hiyo weather lakini mzee kushajaribu sababu ya nini kukuja hapa hata na barabara. He loves us so much. He loves this country so much that especially myself I have no words to say thank you to him. God gives him 100 years of life. I wish that we have this president for at least for 25 years. He, no, Mali Angidi iko miaka mingi sana. So if we have this Ichi Tabatlisa, I don't want to say much, I don't want to take much of his time because he has got a lot of other commitment. But I must say that, sir, we started this journey six years ago. This factory, this place, not the factory, the land was belonged to another company from India called Sanghi Cement for 13 years. The groundbreaking was done by former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga, and it was just groundbreaking. After that, it never took off. It was a little bit shaken, but I met them. I did ask them why. Then they came with the reason that the Pakot is a very insecure place. Pakot is very unsafe place. Pakot iko odawatu haifai kazi. Pakot iko ata sarkari na lete ile clinker cheaper than what we will produce here. So importations is too much. These all reasons we don't want to build the plant. We bought and immediately within one year after the plants were ready, we started the construction here and Vatu Alfutanu ya pakot likwana fanya kazi hapo. Sisi likwana tafuta watu, likwana omba, ata chief na administrator ya hapa, tafadhali patia sisi watu, lakini likwana kosa. Saangini hii watoto ya hapa, hapa ndaka fanya kazi, sijui. Lakini, we had almost 4,000 children were working here. And I tell myself that there is no better place in the world than Pakot. These Pakot people, sir, have taken me as their own son, their own father, their own brother. Akuna ada siku moja mimi kushapata shida hapa. Watu ote nasaidia kila siku. Akuna kitu ya kuiba iba. There is, I don't know why we are talking about insecurity. Mimi na lala hapa, jumba yangu iko hapo. Na toto ya hapa, na nataka saidizi yako kuinua uchubi ya pande hii kusema watu wangini kuweka factory ya hawa hapa. I am so pleased that Pakot is my family and mimi ya wezi wacha nini. I had a meeting with the wazes ya hapa ya Sabit just two days ago. Hawa likuwa nasema mimi sisi kuisa uza masucha na wewe na sasa kuisa za. Sasa mimi na confused. I said my wife is not here. So I'm okay, lakini mimi bado fanya kitu. So isi jui. Likwa bado alewa, lakini sir, after half an hour my blood pressure went okay. They say, ili ardi na uza, diyo na sema, sisi kuisapatia sisi masyana yetu kwako. I was very happy, asante sana. Sababu mimi kona bibi na kila mali mimi naenda na sema sisi nitaka patia wewe masyana, wewe ni mutu ya pakot. Lakini sister angalia sa ile bibi yangu wapana iko wapa. So, this project will change the, apana sema kwa watu ya inje, sisi ni familia. So, what I'm trying to say is, sir, that this factory will change the, the perception of Pakot. The Pakot people are hard working. Pakot people need the opportunity and we want to make sure that the, they are full of all the minerals, but saangini na, na angai kasawabu ya maji, saangini angai kasawabu ya chakula, saangini angai kasawabu ya shule. We will make sure we support the Pakot community. We have already adopted four, we have adopted four schools surrounding ile iko karibu na hiyo, na sisi na kuisaanza feeding program, lazima watoto ote na pata hot milk la siku. Sir, company is not left behind in other CSR which we do in other part of the country, which we have 
We are feeding almost 7,000 children every day last 15 years in the country. This is not something new for us because chakula ni haki ya kila watu. Kama mimi nakula na watoto moja ya jirani ya pana kula, hiyo ni haramu. Mimi nasema sisi tafanya kazi pamoja na akuda maskiti, maskini sorry, hapa kwa pakot tapatikana. This project does not belong to us, it belongs to the Pakot community. This project belongs to each and everybody of here. Sisi ni wageni hapa. Sisi taenda kwa jirani kutukula. Siku moja ile mzeli kwa mimi likuwa naenda na patia mimi chai na mayai. Sasa mimi ajui na mna gani na kula yo. The power we produce in Kenya today is 69 megawatt for our, from our waste heat recovery, including the, the plant which you inaugurated immediately after the election in Samburu, where we have our own 60 megawatt power from the West Heat. Sir, I want to say that my group have invested US dollar one billion in last five years. That is 150 million dollar shillings, 150 billion shillings. Now, I just want to say that a simple thing, why I have done it is my dream is to make Kenya import free. If we don't make in Kenya import free, other Kamanat Anglesa Kibiriti, and if we don't make it import free, our children, who is, I am also chancellor in Egerton University, we release 15,000 graduates every year. 50,000 re release in Kenya for the graduation every year, they are graduate, but Akuna Kazi. Kwanini, because everybody imports. I was importing billet, I was importing wire rod, but my dream was that I want to make sure that I produce it here so that your engineers, your accountants, your Otena Patakas. I want to say that we have planned, sir, to invest in your time, at least in next four or five years time, although you will be there for a lifetime, and we will always pray that you are there for at least for 25 years. But it is our plan in next five years to put up $550 million in Kitui and Nakuru and Eldoret for the extra capacity of the cement. The Kitui is always also neglected because we have all the minerals also in Kenya, in Pakot, but Kitui has got the coal which we have never extracted because of our own politics. Sir, why people are importing? I must confess today that it is only for the propaganda from the business community, which is called a KAM, Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Kenya Association Manufacturers have gone away from their everything since last 20 years or 25 years. We are talking about the vision 2030 or 20 by 30, which is just a dream. We are just five years away from that. And we are talking last 15 years that we will be industrialized country in 2030. I had complained five years ago to KM and the Ministry of Industry that we should not import clinker because there is local capacity and we, uh, we should save our foreign exchange and to give jobs to our Kenyan and don't export to India and China because these are the family, these are your water, sir. These are the people we need the job. Even if my one of the son, again I will repeat, is, is less intelligent, but still he is my son. Similar way, these are our Kenyans, and they have even less ability. Even if your product has got the less quality parameters than international, they will be able to, 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 to make up and to boost to the right quality. But we should make sure, emphasize, we as a businessman, as I just said, that we will never ever stop importation if we are not forced to. We will go and say, oh, e quality kobaya, e kobaya, e akuna production, akuna kitu, akuna kitu kama hiyo. The Kenya has got the capacity to produce everything, including gold. The gold factory can be put here, and it will be put by the local industries only. If nobody puts, I will make sure I will put and employ my Pakot people. <laughs> Sir, Kenya has got the demand of clinker of 5 million ton per annum. While our capacity from today, just you have inaugurated, our capacity as a, as a, as a Devki group is a six million ton in Kenya today. By end of 2027, 
we will be putting the Kitui plant, it should be ready, and our capacity will go to 12 million tons because I want to put there more kiln so that we can become more and more export. This plant, what you have just inaugurated, will export the clinker to Uganda and Rwanda and Sudan for $200 million every year. Why we will export is because we have the excess capacity, because Kenya cannot take. The other manufacturer is also manufacturing the clinker. And similar way, we want to do even in the steel. We produce a million ton of steel, but the demand of Kenya is less than 300,000 to 400,000 tons. We will make sure that we produce the most, and we are producing the most durable and the quality steel in, in Samburu. Sir, I don't want to talk about that. What I pay, I must tell you because I think the government is interested, what do I pay in the tax? So, <laughs> so sir, by taxes, I am a pastor. Mimi ikona watoto tatu. Iote ni toto yangu. Mimi asitaki pesa. I want to change their life in my lifetime. I pay two, I pay two billion shillings as a company every month to government, not in the income tax only. Income tax ni muisho meaka. But this is only NSSF, NHIF, and other taxes, a two billion. That means almost 100 million a day. I pay one over one billion shillings to Kenya Power every month. That is three billion shillings. That is 100 million shillings kila siku. Other kama mina lala na tafuta yo pesa to kila siku. I thank my bankers to be faithful on me and, faith, uh, and, and keeping trust on me because e pesa, aweze kupatikana, Sir, I could have me I could have me kusha love karibu kuenda jumbani if you had not come as a president. <laughs> Kenya Railway, we pay 75 million shillings every month. I want to pay them 200 million, but they don't have the locomotives. If you give them the lock, I will pay for the locomotive, if you allow me. If we give them locomotive, I want to revive that Kenya Railway. All our factories, we have put the railway slidings. We, there is a hundred thousands of people are working in Kenya Railway and you have a wonderful staff in Kenya Railway. They do everything to transport the goods. But we, they need the locomotive because so that we can save our roads and we can, we can survive with the railway and our people continue to work in Kenya Railway. Is Garibu Kukufato. The government policy which I already spoken, sir, I, uh, Your Excellency, you had given me the time in the, your, from your busy schedule. I am very thankful to you. I want to thank my, my bankers. I must thank every time. If I don't, then Nikoshida. Uh, especially, I want to thank you, my customers, my suppliers, invited guests, banks, financiers, that is IFC, KCB, I think CEO Paul Russo is here, Asante Sana, to support. I am your customer last 40 years. Please, inter interest should be reduced, Tafadali. <laughs> EBSA Bank, Standard Charter Bank, NCBA, the INM Bank, Stanbic, Bank of Baroda, uh, the managing director is here, who supported also this project. I am thankful to all my bankers and the I don't want to miss the opportunity to say thank you very much, Honorable Governor of uh, Pakot, uh, Honorable Kachafin. You have a wonderful governor who has really held hold my hands and says, if you have any problem, Tafadali, you can call me anytime. Thank you very much, sir. And because of the, your support, we are here to, to complete our project. The local community, I have no word to say thank you, but only Tasema kitu kidogo that mimi kona nini. Mimi awezi wacha, please, tafadali, saidia, sisina, saidiana, ada kama jirani, iko na shida, iko ya charo office hapa, aleza, sisi tajaribu kusaidia hawa. I also take this opportunity to thank my wife. And uh, sir, you know, when I was in standard seven, I read somewhere that the a successful man behind him is a woman. There is a woman behind him. But the problem is from that day I lost the concentration on study and started looking for the woman. <laughs> but then I learned that then I learned that if you are you can keep on trying and you may not be successful, 
then you can keep on changing the women standing behind you. <laughs> but I never did it. I stood, stood by my wife. She always supported me, sir. And she is humble. She is the one who is handling more and more CSR. She doesn't ask me why you are not putting the project and why you are not doing more business. But she always tells me how many children you have feeded today, how many people's problems you have sorted out today, what you did for the country, 